Aloha beautiful souls and welcome to another reading here at Transform with Rian and in today's reading we're going to find out what is about to happen in your life. So maybe something a bit unexpected, a sudden shift, a sudden change in your life, in your circumstances. Um, so we're going to dive into that and see what could be going on that maybe help you perhaps prepare for it a little bit as well. So we have three options. We have the fox, the eagle, and the coyote. So take a moment if you need to, to pause this. You can kind of meditate and um, tune in to the energies to see which one of these cards or readings, maybe more than one even, is calling to you the most. And I'll see you at your reading. All right. Okay. So we are going to start with Group number one, we have the fox with adaptability. Adapt to the changes that are happening. So I feel like this is almost a no dove for the type of reading that we have here about what's about to come into your life. Um, what's happening very soon is that some type of change is happening that you're going to need to adjust to, that you're going to need to adapt to. Now, what I am getting though from this first card is, you know, I'm hearing the words sly as a fox. And so I feel like what's going to be happening is going to be a little bit sneaky. And I think out of all three of the um, readings, this is the one that's going to be the biggest surprise to all of you. Perhaps in the other readings, um, you may have been sensing it or anticipating this um, change that's about to happen. But for you, group number one, you did probably, well, I shouldn't even say probably, you really did not see this thing that's coming, coming, that's happening soon. All right. Um, and I actually think it's something good. All right. So I don't think it's anything that you have to worry about. I, I get the feeling that it's something, um, positive or, or at worst it would be neutral. All right. But nothing to be scared of. So <laughs> don't, don't worry about that piece. I feel like we need some cards from this tea leaf tarot deck to, or Oracle deck, I should say, to kind of get some more details on this. Okay, so what did we get for you? We have Broken Ring, Parting of the Ways in either Romance or Business. And we have Pale, Time to Get Out of a Situation. Okay, now it's starting to get really clear for me here. Um, more information on this situation. Bow, you are high... Bow, oh my gosh. Not the right pronunciation of this thing. Bow, <laughs> you are highly thought of. Oh yeah, guys, I speak English so well. <laughs> Box, you will receive a gift. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that someone is exiting your life, group number one. And I'm feeling for the most part, like it has to do with business or some type of work situation. And I'm feeling that this person has been quite difficult to work with. Um, maybe if not difficult, it could even be that you both have sort of a difference of opinions now, or you're kind of moving in different directions. Um, and it's like your priorities have shifted um, and they're not really on the same page as you. And so I'm getting this sense that you know, you've noticed this, um, but you, you really didn't see a way forward out of this, okay? Because it seems like you probably didn't want to talk to them about it. You didn't want to say anything to them. Maybe you didn't even have any power in the situation, right? Like, it's not like you could fire them or move them to a different team or a different department, like that type of thing. Um, I feel like perhaps maybe you were in this moment of like, oh, I'm just kind of like stuck with this person. Like, I'm just going to make the most of it. Just got to remain positive, you know, or maybe things will change for the better here. And this is just a rough patch. Like, perhaps those were some of the thoughts that were running through your head. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. Now, what you're not going to see coming, well, now you will because we're talking about it, is that this person is actually going to leave on their own. Okay? I'm getting the sense that um, it's them that's leaving, not necessarily you. Okay? Um, you know what? Let me take that back. Actually, I'm seeing it go one of two ways. So one, this person is just going to leave, okay? Um, maybe they have another job opportunity. Maybe they're going to be the one that's actually gonna call it like, hey, um, the dynamic between us has changed or the dynamic in this team has changed and it's time for me to move on. So I'm gonna look for other opportunities or other positions and they're going to leave, okay? So it's like, you don't really have to do anything. Um, and they're just going to exit, okay? And then you don't have to stress out about this anymore. Now, for others of you, though, so 
goes one of two ways. So either they're going to leave, but you can also leave this situation because what I'm seeing for you is you are either going to get recruited or promoted or like transferred to another um, location or another branch, another department, because um, people have been talking about you and they've noticed that your skills are kind of beyond your current position, okay? They're noticing that, hey, you are capable of so much more and it's almost like you've outgrown the current position that you're in. And so it's they want to challenge you and put you in a position where you can actually grow and you can thrive. Um, and. I don't even think they noticed like what's happening between you and this other person and this work environment. It's just like they were super focused on you and like, dang, you are doing really, really well. I see a lot of potential in you. Let's move you to this position instead and let's see how you do, right? It's almost kind of like maybe a test to kind of see what your ulti your true potential and your true ability really is because they see a lot in you. They see that you're super capable. Um, so I see you getting like some type of promotion or again, transferring to a different role or a different team to, to show off your skills there. And I think that's really what this gift thing is about. So I really feel like looking at these energies, these two cards are um, kind of like similar vibes and then this is similar vibes and the gift is really like being um, released from this uncomfortable um, work dynamic okay but also I feel like this is a really great opportunity for you professionally as well so let's pull out my new deck um, and see what else the tarot can add to this conversation about um, what is headed your way um, what's coming for you next Ooh, the Hermit. And we have the Six of Swords. Oh, this is like a perfect confirmation of what we were just talking about, like moving towards more peaceful work environments um, in specific, right, to your reading, um, or just a, a better situation that's more calm, that you feel more at peace with, and the, where there's like less stress, right, less anxiety. We also have the Four of Cups. Okay, um, that's also confirming that for many of you, this is again a, an offer, okay? Because we see this like, um, I'm gonna just call it a tree spirit. <laughs> we see this tree spirit offering this cup to this person whose back is turned to them, okay? And they're looking at the, I'm gonna say this is the sunset versus a sunrise. And so they're seeing this person like seeing an ending, um, like, you know, preparing for like the dark part of the day, right? The nighttime. So not so happy, go lucky and bright. And I feel like this is you, like maybe even though you're trying to be optimistic about this, this situation with this person, you're actually truly feeling a bit pessimistic and a little bit like disheartened about it and like not super thrilled. Um, but this surprise is going to come in and be like, yo, I've been watching you work. I've been observing you and I'm seeing that you are doing an excellent job. And I just want to know what your thoughts are about moving to this other team or taking on this different role within the company to broaden your horizons, um, broaden your your skills and, and, you know, give you a chance to practice and develop them a lot more. And so I really feel it's going to come to you as a shock, like you weren't expecting it because it's not even like, I don't know why I felt I heard like ocean waves just now. Weird. Oh, it's coming from outside. I have the window open. <laughs> um, anyway, um, like there's not even a job posting, right? Like there's no announcements to say like, hey, we have this position um, available for anybody who's interested, you can apply. Like it's nothing even like that. It's sort of like a, maybe it's even more of an internal sort of reshuffling, reorganization type thing. Um, and, and you are one of the people that's going to be a part of that. Okay, what else do we have? Ooh, we have the 10 of coins. Um, Okay, I was like, where is the 10th coin? It's right up here in the sun. <laughs> um, so I love how there's like two cats here. 
Oh my gosh, I feel like what this is showing is, so wherever it is that you are going to be moving to, for those of you that are getting like a promotion or doing like a lateral move or something, I feel like you're going to find a like a, a great work buddy, like a kindred spirit. Um, that's going to be the total opposite of whatever you were experiencing with this person right over here. Um, and perhaps with this person leaving, for those of you that are going to have that type of situation, whoever is coming in to fill their spot is going to be like a much better match as like a co-worker, friend, buddy um, than this person is right now, you know? Um, I'm just hearing the words like harmony, balance here. I'm, I'm hearing also the word teamwork as well that everything is going to run so much more smoothly uh, with this new change that's coming in now okay with this adaptability um spirit is like asking me to come back to this um why it isn't so bad is like you are so used to working with this person and in in this sort of like team setup right and so when you move to a new team or if somebody new comes to your team to replace this person there's that period of time where you're going to have to adapt right and adjust and kind of get to learn how each other works how each other's preferences are um and and um fully like optimize how you work together do you know what i'm saying so that's what this is it's not like a bad thing it's just one of those periods where it's like you know maybe you're going to have some miscommunication misunderstanding maybe you might gently bump heads but it's nothing like um fighting intensely or like heated arguments it's nothing like that at all it's just part of that getting to know you process okay now that like explains the vibes from earlier a lot better now what is up with this hermit card over here okay 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 so what i'm getting from this is those of you again this is a confirmation that you're standing out so with the hermit the hermit is like alone as you can see in this dark wood but they have this light that's guiding their way and that's also lighting them up right like the closer this light is to them the more visible they are and so i feel like this is you with the people that are you know observing you that have I, I should say have been observing you actually that they're noticing like wow you're pretty amazing and you're doing so great and um so i i feel like with this hermit the phrase that's coming through is you've been singled out and again not in a bad way oh my god that's making me think of this sh dating show that used to be on mtv back in the 90s like oh my gosh it was like a dating show called singled out where you know they would kind of like in typical dating fashion they'd ask questions or whatever without seeing the person and then they pick who they want to be and so they're singled out um to go on the date right or be the cho choice of the contestant anyway so i definitely see you being singled out like you are um uh more visible and more seen by the higher ups or the whoever makes the big decisions in your company or your organization so that they can I'm hearing also the word groom you, groom you to perhaps even be in a leadership role or some other high ranking role in the future. So I just see like a lot of potential and faith within you. Okay. When it comes to this. Wow. Oh my God. That's so beautiful. Congratulations, y'all. I love this for you. And I'm so glad that, you know, we spend so much of our time at work these days that it really um, stinks when <laughs> there is like when people aren't getting along quite that well you know <laughs> so i'm glad that's shifting for you in any case i hope you enjoyed your reading um don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you go and i will see you again soon take care loves hello there group number two or eagle group welcome to your reading to find out what is coming your way what is up ahead and what you can maybe prepare for or try to get ready for after viewing this reading so you all chose the eagles um card which is represented by spirit trust in your higher self so as I look at this card, even though like this isn't necessarily what I would normally associate with this, I really feel like this is a love message um, contained within here. Um, I'm seeing, you know, with the eagle that you are 
you are taking a more complete or like comprehensive view on love like i'm seeing that there was something that you didn't quite understand you didn't quite get when it comes to love and romance or you know whatever relationship you're in as far as a romantic one right now and i feel like you're going to have that sort of clarified for you okay that you know sometimes i don't know about y'all but sometimes when i'm struggling with something and i feel like i'm missing part of the picture right or I'm not seeing the complete picture and that's why I'm frustrated or confused or lost I do go to meditation or I do consult the tarot to help guide me and help me see things that I'm not seeing clearly or things that I'm I'm blind to you know in regards to the current circumstance so I feel like for you this has to do with some sort of clarification on a love situation that maybe has been um, bothering you um, or confusing you, right? So let's just see what this could be about. Let's start with this Oracle deck here. Okay, I feel like we can start with this, but I have a feeling that we might have to draw a couple more cards. Okay, so we have Runner, Escape from Emotion and Confusion on the Run. Okay, I feel like that definitely aligns with where we were going. We have Alone, Abandoned, Lonely, Lost, The Divine is with You. And we have summer. It's time to see the sunny side. Your answers arrive in summer. Okay, so perfect. I feel like these actually go together. And I feel um, what I'm getting is this sort of represents someone else's energy. Okay, so whether or not you're currently together or you're in separation or you're um, uh, in union, whatever the case may be for you and romance for a romantic partner and stuff, what I'm getting is the other person has been very avoidant. Um, where it's creating this sort of distance between the two of you and you're feeling alone and you're feeling confused or maybe even frustrated where you're like, hey, everything was going so well or things were going fine. We were communicating with each other. We were spending time together. Like there felt like the connection was really good. Okay. But then lately, I feel like what you've been noticing is that they've been maybe communicating less texting less maybe a little less um uh affectionate right so if you're in um in union now like maybe they're not holding your hand as much or cuddling with you as much maybe they're coming to bed late maybe um they they kind of seem sort of um uh out there when you're together right like you don't have their full attention right like they see oh distracted hello why was it so hard for me to come up with that word so it seems like they've been distracted and then of course for those of you that are in separation or single it feels like you're not getting a lot of communication in from your partner or from possible romantic matches or whatever and it's because this person that you're meant to be with at this time is kind of distracted by something else all right i feel like um that will start to shift and end perhaps in the summertime here okay um that's one interpretation of this card but the other interpretation that i'm getting as well is that while this person is feeling a bit distant or disconnected this is actually a great time for you to be focusing on yourself and what you want to do because they're off doing their own thing or working through their own problem or issue um, that they're not maybe quite ready to talk to you about yet or involve you in and so this is a chance for you to like do something you like instead you know um it kind of makes me think of um, like sometimes when I um, am giving people rides and I go pick them up, but they're not ready yet because maybe the meeting ran over, their appointment ran over or started late, whatever the case would be. And I get there early and it's like, well, they're dealing with something. I can't really go in and interrupt and, and rush the process or anything like that. So what can I do in the meantime? And, you know, I inevitably like maybe I go check my emails and respond to some things that I didn't respond to earlier in the day. Or for me, it's usually like the day before because <laughs> I'm so late. I'm replying to things. Um, or I decide to go take a walk and explore the neighborhood, explore the shopping plaza, the mall, whatever. Or I decide to sit down and watch a video on YouTube that I had on my watch list um, that I didn't get around to. Right. I find something else to do to entertain me um, that 
I've been putting off or I didn't have time to do before. So I feel like that's kind of what you can do, right? Like maybe, um, you know, you spent a long time on the phone with them the other day or you did a, a, a day trip with them and then there's some things that you um, put aside or you put on hold to take care of once you have the time to yourself. And I feel like that's really what you could be doing. So that's like, it's time to see the sunny side. So I feel like it's just this opportunity while they're handling their thing, you can handle whatever it is you need to handle in your life, okay? And let's pull a few more cards from this. Okay, so that was their energy. Let's see yours. So inner child. I was like, what is this card? Hello, Ryan. Flip it over. Home and stock. Oh, okay. See? So this really kind of confirms what I was just mentioning earlier. So you've been feeling stuck. You feel like, what can I do? You want to like bring this connection back to the way it was, but you know, it takes two to tango. It takes two to have a conversation. And so you've been feeling stuck. Like you, there was nothing you could do. And you're like, you know, you're mind is spinning trying to figure out what to do next or how to improve the situation and it's like you're not coming up with any good answers or whenever you try to reach out or figure things out you're kind of met with resistance and it's because there's nothing for you to figure out instead it's a chance for you inner child which i feel like is also going with higher self so i feel like really um this trusting part is trusting that it's not you like nothing you did is is making them distant. It's something very personal to this person is what I'm getting, right? Like maybe they're having like a midlife crisis or something like that and they need to figure some things out for themselves, like their goals, what they wanna do with their life. And like, it's not a question of whether or not they wanna be with you, they do. They just need to figure out their own stuff. You know what I'm saying? And they need to do it first on their own before they can even talk about it with you. Or maybe something is stressing them out at work and they're not allowed to talk about it because it's something that's not really out to the public yet, right? Um, maybe it's like um, they're about to launch this special project or this product or whatever and it's kind of on the hush-hush um, and so they can't really talk about it with anyone outside of work. It has to be secret, you know? And so that's why they can't talk to you about it and that's why they're so distracted because like the deadline's approaching or whatever, you know? And so I feel like there's really nothing to worry about. It has nothing to do with you in a bad light or you separating or anything like that. They're really trying to just come back to themselves and be able to give more to this relationship. Or if, you know, you're single, um, they want to prepare themselves to meet you. Like they don't want to be a hot mess when they meet you, you know? So what you can do is focus on things that you find fun and entertaining and enjoy those things. So pick a hobby back up that you... Um, uh, didn't have time for before or maybe you know finish that book that you started reading and then got interrupted um, with so you never complete it right something like that or watch that TV series that you've been wanting to watch for the past few weeks or months or for some of you it could even be about fixing up the home like maybe there was a home project like a home improvement project you wanted to work on or redecorating remodeling cleaning or clearing stuff out doing a garage sale something like that so there's other stuff that you could be focusing on okay now I want to like pull some cards from the tarot as well even though it feels very clear what we have for you all but this is my new deck and it's so gorgeous and I want us all to appreciate the beautiful artwork because this deck was a long time coming <laughs> so let's see what we have here for you all from the decolonized tarot deck oh my gosh that's crazy these are similar cards to group one um, which had a completely different vibe and topic so if you felt torn between group one and two like go back and listen to group one after you're done with this um so we have the ten of pentacles the six of swords and judgment i almost said temperance i don't know why temperance came through um and so with this ten of pentacles i'm definitely getting this confirmation that everything is going to work out just fine and you don't need to have this sort of inner dialogue thinking that things are worse than they really are because that's not the case at all i'm hearing that everything is a on track is that even a on track right on track oh my gosh i'm like making phrases up over here um okay so 
um, everything is right on track. So for those of you that are in a relationship or know this person, again, it's just they're busy with work or their own personal soul journey and they need to handle that stuff first on their own before they can talk about it with you. Um, and they do want to talk about it with you. Like they do want you as a part of their life. And for those of you that are not together, that are in separation, again, they're handling their stuff because they want to be the best version of themselves when they meet you, when they connect with you because they want a happy family, a happy life with you. Um, now, with the Six of Swords, I definitely feel like things are going to be getting better. They're working hard to make things better. And you can also make things better for yourself, right? And, and again, work on these projects. Um, finish reading the book. Um, pick your hobby back up. Whatever the case may be for you. Like, that's going to be the way to kind of calm everything down. Because again, what I'm, think what I'm hearing is that maybe you've been ruminating on things and maybe being a bit of a like worry ward um and and your your head is kind of maybe making up a story about things being worse than they really are so that's the way you can kind of come back to peace come back to calm you know and take that deep breath and <gasps> like just let it go okay there's nothing for you to do directly here to help this situation other than just do your own thing you know like rihanna do your thing, do your thing, do your, do your, do your thing. <laughs> okay. And lastly, we have the judgment card, which wasn't in the first reading, in case you're curious. Um, with this judgment card, what I'm really seeing here is, um, so both of you are kind of in a different place right now. Again, like they're going through something very deep and very personal while you're here able to hold space for them, but you're, because of the circumstances, you're being asked to kind of focus more on yourself, right? And so this is sort of telling me with this judgment card, like holding the, the dark, I'm just gonna call it black orb and the white orb that like, you know, the way life moves is kind of like an ebb and a flow. Like sometimes it feels like you all are really in sync. Things are great. Everything is just wonderfully perfect and bright and sunny. And then other times it feels like it's a little bit dark, a little bit uncertain, a little bit unclear. And it's like going back and forth between these two poles is just the way life is. And it's um, the nature of how life changes so much and, and us having to adapt and grow and mature and learn new abilities, learn new skills, um, improve ourselves, right? As we move forward through life, because life is just, isn't going to stop sending challenges our way or difficulties our way, you know, like that's just not the meaning of life. Um, and so with this here, um, I feel like this is just a reminder again to trust in your higher self like sometimes the mind can be very distracting from what's within our heart and what we feel deep down in our soul okay and um, nowadays so many different cultures around the world is highly focused on what the mind is saying and and having that be true but i feel like you know in recent years we're starting to reconnect back with our soul our spirit and our heart and letting that have a voice as well so um Maybe you just needed this reading here to let you know that everything's going to be okay because the voice within yourself is trying to let you know that, but your mind, again, is being a bit of an antagonist, okay, and, and um, being counterproductive with easing yourself. So everything's going beautifully. Like, this person will um, speak to you soon and you'll get kind of caught up in what they've been going through. And um, I feel like, you know, you'll experience a lot of relief from this conversation here. So that's wonderful. Okay, so beautiful. So that's something you can look forward to, that everything will become clear and you have time to yourself to do something you want to do. All right, I hope you really enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, loves. Hey there, group three or coyote group. Welcome to your reading to find out like what's up ahead. What can you perhaps be expecting to enter your life really, really soon here? What's around the corner? Uh, and with the coyote, it says wise fool underneath as well as accept your follies and find the teaching in them. So the energy that I'm actually getting from this and we'll pull some more cards to dive deeper, but I feel like there's this playful energy coming through. Something very funny, something very hilarious is about to happen. And I feel like it's going to be one of those things that you're going to look back at. And as you remember this event, this thing that's going to happen, you're going to kind of like laugh for yourself, laugh to yourself or chuckle. You know, it's going to be one of those moments where you're like, I can't believe that happened. You're still in disbelief. And 
It's something very, very funny that occurred. But what's so interesting about this, and again, we'll pull some more cards here in just a moment, is that um, find the teaching in them. So even though this is something that you're going to look back at with fondness and humor, there's something actually very important that you're going to learn here. So let's see if we can find out what that is. Um, I'm also even getting some vibes that, you know, maybe it might not be entirely comedic or entirely hilarious. Like there, I sense that there's probably going to be an edge of maybe some frustration and annoyance with this, but overall the vibe is very much like it's gonna be funny. One of those like funny thing happened to me the other day and you kind of tell the story of it um, and it can be taken either way, like super tragic or like wah wah, but also at the same time, it, there's also something pretty like ironic or funny or amusing about it as well. So let's let's kind of uncover a little bit more. Um, I really like how I've been, I have like a bunch of decks just laid out here because um, I wanted to do a different style of reading. Like my channel keeps evolving, right? And the way I do my readings keeps changing. Um, and I love that I've been called to different decks. So if you happen to have felt drawn to more than one deck, you'll see that different cards were drawn. And I, I really love that. Let me know what you think about it, though, in the comments below. It feels a lot more organic to me than having a rigid structure to the readings like I've previously done. So anyways, we have Midheaven, Pinnacle, Mercury with Messages. Mm. So I'm getting here that... Um, that you're going to reach some sort of peak, some sort of high point in whatever it is that you're doing. But there's, but instead of like being all cool and like nonchalant and sort of like basking in this glory, I feel like something funny is going to happen to kind of um, bring the situation back down to earth and make it seem a little bit more humble. Um, the image that I'm getting, which is really funny and I'm, I'm, I'm in love with it and I hope you can fall in love with it as well. It's like um, someone is announcing that you, that you got an award, right? And everyone's applauding you and you feel really proud of yourself. You feel really accomplished. And as you get up to go accept your reward or even if you have an opportunity to give like a thank you speech, like maybe you like trip or stumble. Um, and maybe you feel a little bit embarrassed, but overall it's still like a good situation, right? Because you're getting an award. Um, or, or maybe like in your acceptance speech or in, in whatever um, monologue or, or speech again that you're giving, maybe you stumble on the words or you mispronounce something and it adds a little bit of humor to the situation, which otherwise might have felt like super serious, maybe even a bit solemn. So, um, oh, I'm yeah, I'm definitely hearing that many of you are going to be asked to speak at something and it might feel very serious, might feel again, um, like not quite a laughing matter, but there's going to be some unplanned humor that will come up. And, you know, even though this, this sounds a bit odd, I feel like the energy can be like giving a speech of remembrance, right? Like at someone's funeral or memorial or something like that. Like, you know, the vibe is very, very solemn, very serious, very maybe a bit down or depressing. But then something funny is going to happen to lighten the mood. And to be quite honest, what I'm getting is that the person who had transitioned or had passed on, right? Um, they were generally a very happy and a very funny person. And I feel like, you know, this little stumble or this um, this mistake is kind of their way of reminding everyone like, hey, this is what my life was about. This is who I am. So, you know, I appreciate that you feel sad that I have moved on. But in all honesty, like, I want you to think of me with fondness and, and happiness. Um, so I get that sense for you. Um, for some of you too, it could even, it might not even be like a memorial service or something. It could even be like a retirement party or someone who's stepping down from a high role and you're passing on, you know, the crown, the reins, the, the leadership position to someone else. Maybe someone is leaving a company and transitioning to another job, another group, whatever, something like that. It's so like a goodbye party. It could even be something like that, not necessarily a funeral. Um, or like, you know, we talked about earlier, maybe some kind of recognition or award ceremony. And um, 
I feel like it's just this cute reminder again to like not take life so seriously and, and feel like you have to impress people um, or constantly like present yourself in a very serious or professional way to other people that, you know, the celebrating part can be very fun as well, right? And so that's what I just feel as far as like getting the message as to why there's this little like hiccup or stumble or oopsie daisy kind of moment. But I feel like there might even be more with this messages. Okay, actually, Spirit just told me like, no, for this card itself, the message here is don't take life too seriously and to really have fun with everything and to celebrate, okay? Um, that's sort of like the big message, the, the big teaching in it. So again, you're going to be recognized for something or you're going to be in the spotlight, right? Again, giving a speech, giving a lecture, teaching something to people. And maybe some of you are even giving like a commencement speech or whatnot, right? For those of you that are graduating or being recognized by some academic body, like, oh, can you come speak? Maybe some of you are even speaking at a conference where you're like sharing knowledge and information with people. Um, and it might not be that big, like maybe it's just like a team meeting even. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, very, very interesting. Like that's a very specific message, right? Um, let's see what the tarot has to share with um, us as well about this event that is, you know, going to be something that's kind of funny, um, unexpectedly so, right? Where it's like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. And it's like, oh, but it did, my darling. Oh, but it did. Uh, okay, let's see what the tarot has. And I just felt called to flip this card over, even though I didn't flip any of the others over. So we're going to start with the Ten of Cups. And yeah, so for many of you, this is some type of family event, okay, where you are speaking in front of people, um, or maybe it could even be that you're in the audience and someone else is speaking, right, and and sort of to snap you out of this super depressing or sad moment, or maybe you feel very nervous and anxious, like more serious, like the gravity of the situation is like intense, there's something to lighten the mood, okay? Um, and again, kind of come back to the happy memories, the fond memories, like the good times, um, and uh, kind of appreciating the journey up until this point, okay? And I'm seeing like a lot of support here. So I'm also seeing like, even if you're the one perhaps in the scenario of giving an award, or remembering somebody or giving an inspirational motivational speech in front of people it's like you're going to also be reminded of like what it took to get to this spot and and how much support and contributions you've had from the people around you to help you get to where you are today so it's going to be very beautiful in that sense as well um let's see what else we have here we have the seven of wands um the page of swords ah Yes, how appropriate that we see the Page of Swords here because the Page of Swords is also all about learning. So maybe for those of you that are even thinking about or, or being charged with having to give some kind of speech or speaking in front of people, uh, maybe a good place to start on what you want to say is like, what have you learned about it? What did you take away from this experience? What did you learn from this person? Um, whatever the case may be um, with with the with what you want to say and again the seven of wands is definitely speaking to me of obstacles like things that you've overcome to get to where you are um, what this person has taught you or sacrificed for you or provided for you along the way that you're so grateful for um, who really helped you like how did they help you in your life um, how in what ways did they support you right and help you become the person you are today so i know i feel like i feel like my my conversation is all over the place but i trust you all to you know come that you were brought to this reading and watching this reading and you know exactly the points that are resonating specifically with your particular circumstance okay so um please forgive me for being like all over it's just like all these different scenarios are coming to my mind to support uh the message in this reading so we also have the um, Four of Swords. I'm like, where is the, the element here? And it took me a moment to see the swords here. So the Four of Swords and, oh my gosh, the Four of Wands as well. So for many of you, this is definitely a memorial service or 
um, sort of like a looking back on on the journey so far, right? Um, and again, it could be someone had passed away, but it could even be someone's retiring. It could even be like your company is like leaving behind one chapter of the company and stepping into a new chapter, right? Like maybe it's uh, coming into new management, right? New leadership team. And so it's like celebrating the accomplishments of the um the people before you and celebrating like this new era this new shift and here with this like rest right sometimes actually in some of the traditional decks you see people like um on a casket right or on some sort of pedestal right laying on some altar of sorts right um so it's like honoring the people before you the, honoring the people who have come um um before you and paved the way even so yeah, I'm also getting to, you know, it might not even be so much of like someone personally that you knew that passed away. But like here in the U.S., uh, last week it was Memorial Day where we honor the people who have um, passed away because uh, uh, like for the for the sake of our nation. Right. Um, people honoring those who um, who lost their lives in protection of this country and things like that. Um, and so it could even be something um, along those lines, you know? Maybe you have to speak about someone who's passed on but did a lot to help move sort of your community forward. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm thinking of people like Martin Luther King Jr., you know, um, in Philippines, Jose Rizal, um, just like honoring the people who have contributed so much to your field, to your communities, to um, progress, right? In in your, um, I say community a lot because I feel like it, for some of you, it could even be like related to your ethnic community, right? Like Filipinos, Chinese, uh, Black, um, Latino, whatever the case may be. It could even be some sort of um, celebrating someone's birthday who had passed on, right? Who had a lot of contributions. Um, or even like LGBTQ, right? Honoring the people ahead of us, before us who fought for LGBTQ rights and recognition, uh, that type of thing. Um, you know, I'm hearing from Spirit to draw just a couple more cards. So why don't we, why don't we just honor that, okay? <laughs> Which is weird because I feel like you know, this is the part where I ended in the other readings, but Spirit is like, no, something else, something else coming through. Oh, so we have the universe, we have the high priestess, and we have strength. Wow, three major arcana cards. And I feel like it has to do, again, with like honoring the bigger picture and like seeing everything from a, a greater standpoint that even though maybe um, the, the general theme is kind of like sadness or loss, um, that really there's more to the picture here um, that that you know it's very natural for some things to come to an end or for people to pass on move on to the next journey of their soul um, and and allow others to take up the reins right to kind of hold continue holding the mantle that change is an inevitability in life and and change doesn't have to be scary Right. And I think that's where this humor is coming in, that change transitions can be fun. They can be exciting. They can make you laugh. They can give you something to look forward to that, you know, in all honesty, like an ending isn't always just an ending. It's also a new beginning. Right. We have the universe card, which is the last major arcana card, meaning like something has wrapped up. But that doesn't mean it's the end, the end, like life keeps moving forward. Your journey keeps moving forward. And this strength card is really speaking to me that, um, yes, there's people before you that have come and gone and, and laid the foundation, contributed to something, but you will also do the same thing, right? You have a legacy that you will be leaving as well. And you have lives um, and, and um, sort of a role to play in the bigger design on things, whether that be the community, an ethnic group, your workplace, your family, whatever it is. Like there's a lot of strength. Like you've come from um, a long line of people who are very strong, very powerful, very maybe even influential, right? 
And um, with the high priestess, you know, I really feel like this is important to um, say that even if people may be gone or leaving, that doesn't mean that they're forgotten and that they that there isn't some part of them that will always be with you, that you can um, connect with again if if you need to, if you're going through some kind of struggle or something, right? Um, wow, totally unexpected message, but I just want to send you so much love and, and support and just let you know that, you know, you got this and that um, there's always something to celebrate. Like, even though, again, there might be an end to something, it's about celebrating life, celebrating a new beginning, um, celebrating changes and shifts um, and what they can bring for you. Oh my God, my hand got a little shaky there. <laughs> um, I think it's time to eat something, yeah? So I hope this message resonated with you. And, and just to let you know again that everything's going to be okay. It really will. Um, even if you're nervous about speaking in front of people or if you're sad by something that happened in your life recently, um, just embrace that sadness, you know, allow it to work through you and move through you. But keep that space open for something beautiful and happy and lovely to come into your life. So um, please, before you head out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, if that resonates with you. And I look forward to doing another reading for you very soon, loves. Take care.